Come and be a part of our family. Join us every Friday at 6.30 p.m. for Family Worship. Let us welcome in the Sabbath together as one. Each week we feature a new family. You don't want to miss it. So join us at 6.30 p.m. every Friday on Airside Media Tobago on YouTube or Facebook. See you there.
Good evening, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Now, we're going to talk about a familiar topic this evening. How many of you have been disappointed? Have you been on the receiving end or have you been the one disappointing someone? And I know if you're really honest with yourselves, you would say, hey, I've had that experience maybe on both ends. This evening, we will be focusing on disappointment. And what's interesting is that young persons, young teenagers will be sharing experiences of disappointment. But not just sharing experiences, but also sharing that God never disappoints us. And how we can tap into God even through disappointment. This evening, the Harmon School of SDA will be sharing with us their family worship experience. Yes, you know, we here in ASI Media Tobago chapter, we spice things up a bit, but all for God's honor and glory. So again, wherever you are, come closer, share the links, get your refreshments close by. We are going to be giving God praise as we normally do this evening. It's family worship time. Good evening, everyone. We would like to welcome you to this evening's Friday evening worship to welcome in the Sabbath. This afternoon, the worship is being done by some of the staff and students of Hammond School of Seventh-day Adventists. We do hope that you will be blessed by our presentation this evening. Our oh, kind Father in heaven, indeed, we are thankful for your goodness and your grace for keeping us safe while we would have gone through this week and oh lord we are here to give you thanks for your loving kindness and your tender mercies your traveling mercies that you would have blessed us with throughout the week oh lord as we come to spend some quality time with you be and abide with us come by here in this worship time we pray in jesus name amen our first hymn will be hymn number 654 654 in the old hymnal holy day jehovah's rest Holy day, Jehovah's rest of creation's week, the best, last of all the chosen self, blessed of God to man was given. Welcome, 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 welcome. Glad we hail its presence blessed, tis the great Jehovah's rest. First his six days work was done, then the Sabbath was begun, then the Sabbath the seventh day, thus in resting we obey. Welcome, 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 welcome. Glad we hail its presence blessed. Tis the great Jehovah's rest. Thousands have his plan reversed. Resting now upon the first. Search a book and you shall know There's no scripture tells them so Welcome, 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 welcome Glad we hear its presence blessed Tis the great Jehovah's rest All who speak the truth it was man who changed the day In God's word no change appears Through the whole six thousand years Welcome, 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 welcome Glad we hear its presence blessed Tis a great Jehovah's rest I searched and when I saw only one great Sabbath law, then I hastened to obey. Plainly, twas the only way. Welcome, 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 welcome. Glad we hear His presence bless. Tis the great Jehovah. 
second hymn will be hymn number 388, 388, don't forget the Sabbath. Don't forget the Sabbath, the Lord of oh God has blessed. Of all the week, the brightest, of all the week, the best. It brings reports from labor, it tells of joy divine, it beams of light descend. is entitled To God from a Sinner. Dear God, sometimes I sit and wonder, why? Why were we created? Why were we given this world of pain and strife where one word, one action can cause you your life? A life like Sodom and Gomorrah where it wasn't all holy, holy, holy. A life so silly caused simply unsightly things. Trust my life full of many different things. So I asked my teacher in a school session. Her answer was always, very good question. Why did we have slavery? Good question. Very good question. Is death real? Good question. Very good question. Why does Satan hate us? Hit me. Good question. Very good question. These questions turned into my reality, but like Bartimaeus, I could not see how all these questions were affecting me, breaking up my rationality, the quest for answers and mortality. I started a fighting spree. But it was careless, capital C. Till you said stop. Stop drinking, stop smoking, stop cheating, stop fighting. Stop. I want what's best for you so that you can be saved in my kingdom too. You sent the spirit for me and for all these people my eyes can see. And so I praise you. Father, Spirit, Son, for all the what done. Psalms 101. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, praise God. Satan can deceive, but with you I feel peace. Lord, in you do I believe. You make me a winner. You are my Father. 
Sincerely, Asina. Right, students. Can you tell us some of the things? Uh, tell me what you are thankful for. I'm thankful for all the day offs I had this week. I'm thankful for the food on my plate. Hey, I'm thankful for notes that I could study for tests. I'm thankful, I'm thankful for the revision this week to help us prepare for our exams. I'm thankful for our mind of understanding. I'm thankful for God giving me a peace of mind this week. I'm thankful, I'm thankful for reliable friends. Hello, my name is Amelia Paul and my name is Adia Gil and today I am going to be sharing a testimony of um, a car accident I had on the 17th of October 2022 which was actually my birthday so it was it was very it was very hard I guess because you wake up and you, I guess you didn't expect it to happen and especially it was my 13th birthday so it was like a, it was like a milestone because I was going into being like a young adult so just to think about like that part of my life could have like disappeared you know i wouldn't i would not make it to see a teen to be a teenager and life is very very short because um well jaymani and um how he lost his life like that i just think about how i could have lost, lost mine because the accident was pretty bad and I guess I want to thank God for me being here and being here every single day after that time to be with you. I just want to thank God because you never know when today is going to be your last and life is very hard and life is very short and I want to thank God that she here and even though Germani not here with us, we know that he's still in our hearts and we love him. Rest in peace. Hi, my name is Serena Stevens and my testimony is about my passion, which is sewing and designing. Back in 2019, my mother bought a machine for me, a sewing machine, and she gave it to me as something to do little things like, you know, stitch a dress or something like that. But then after a while, after getting to know different types of fabric, getting to know different types of style, how colors make you feel and everything like that. I started to grasp this passion and this love for sewing that makes me feel so good about myself. And when I sew something for someone and they try it on and they feel so glad, it makes me feel so empowered that I can actually help people around me with just fabric, with clothing, right? And I want to express that to anyone around, right? Even though you don't have people to support you, right? There are other things, right, that you could find to do. Even if you fail, 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 you can always get up again and try because at the end of the day, failure leads to success. So, my journey right now as a fashion designer, young fashion designer, I go around my school, I go on social media, I ask my friends to help me out, and I just spread my love and my passion for sewing because that is what I am so passionate about and even though right I am here every day is a struggle for me but at the same time I remember that I have a dream I have a goal and to make it there I have to make sure that I trust in God and he helps me understand that I can do it even though I feel like I can't even though I feel like it's going to pain it's going to hurt I can't do it I'm not enough he is going to help me through the way. I wake up every morning, I'll be like, Lord, I can do this. Every day, right, I make sure to tell myself, you can do this. Failure does not mean you are a failure. You can always succeed in a way. So this is my testimony for today, is to stay strong, think positive vibes only, and not to let any person around you feel like you are less than you are. Because God made you in his own likeness and his own way. Now this week, I know we have the quotes of the week and I will ask Jemiah to share it. Share one of the quotes of the week with us. The quote for the week is, be determined not to disappoint those who love you well enough to trust you. Okay, so be determined not to disappoint those who love you well enough to trust you. 
Mario, can you tell me what does it mean to disappoint? Well, actually, I'll ask Aliki. He's looking very enthusiastic to answer. Aliki, what does it mean to disappoint? Um, well, personally, I think to disappoint means to not live up to or not fulfill someone's expectations for you. Have you all ever been disappointed? If you have, say yes. Yes. Me too. I have been disappointed. I heard somebody say many times. Me too. I've been disappointed many times. Does it feel good to be disappointed? No. No, it doesn't feel good to be disappointed. Do you think we disappoint God sometimes? All the time, yes. We do things that are wrong and we disappoint God. So do you think God feels good when we disappoint him? No. No, just like we feel terrible when we are disappointed. God doesn't feel good when we disappoint him. So it is, would you agree that it's important for us to try not to disappoint God? Yes. Yes, all right, great. So Mario, can you tell us one of the things that you do to be faithful to God? Well, one of the things I do to be faithful to God is by listening to His Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is made to guide you in the right directions and to make the best decisions. So that means in that way, you'd have less of a chance to disappoint God by doing the wrong thing. All right, so Ethan and Caitlin, can you share with us what you do to be faithful to God? Well, one of the ways to be faithful to God is by listening to his Ten Commandments and be a good boy or girl. Um, one way I think that you can try to not disappoint God is by reading his word because his word were written by men from the Bible that was God spoke to them. And they know exactly what God wants us to do. So once we follow his word, we will be able to at least try to fulfill what he wants us to do. So thank you for sharing. So this week our message is that we know that sometimes we do stumble and we do sin and we do things that will cause God to be disappointed in us. But we want to encourage everybody that even if you do, run back to God because he is always there willing and waiting to forgive and to help us to continue along in this Christian journey. So as we conclude, we will end with a prayer from Sir Julian. Let's pray everyone. Lord, creator of heaven and earth and all that in them is, we thank you for your patience with us. That it in spite, in spite of the so many times that we would have disappointed you, that you are still there with us, asking us and begging us, beseeching us to do the things that are right and pleasing in your sight. Oh Lord, we thank you for your forgiveness. We thank you for your extensive grace. And oh Lord, as we strive through thy Holy Spirit's power not to disapp disappoint you and even to disappoint our fellow men, that we will stay focused on you, obey your co commandments, allow your Holy Spirit to work in our lives so that we can be the best that we can be. In Jesus' name, amen. So yes, we learned about disappointment. We learned about how we can feel when we are disappointed. But most importantly, we learned of who we can go to when we are disappointed. And that person never will never disappoint us. Who is that person? Yes, Christ Jesus, our Father, Abba, Friend. He will never disappoint. He gives us reassurance, his promises within his word that he is our savior and friend. He is our help even when things seem hopeless. So I hope this evening that this group of young persons would have reminded you that no matter your disappointment, no matter who disappointed you, 
you can go to God and know that he will comfort you, he will strengthen you, and he will never disappoint you. So, unfortunately, we have to end our Friday evening worship this evening, and we are going straight into War Talk. But I'd just like to remind you, next week, Friday evening, can anyone guess what's happening? Yes, it's a calling worship experience, and I know everyone has been waiting or looking forward to this. So you have your hymn, you have your song, your scripture, your devotional, your sermon, whatever it is. You will be calling in and sharing with us next week, Friday evening. So if you want to be an early bird, here are the numbers. 767-0020 or 3027443 and for those who are international 18687670020 or 18683027443 so you can call in directly you can send an whatsapp message we will be viewing all you can share in the chat but we really want you to call in because it's a call in program and we will be worshiping together so looking forward to having you here next week's Sabbath. Continue to be blessed. Enjoy. <laughs>